In recent years, we've been getting smarter about the unique strengths of introverts. Now, author and personal counselor Brenda Knowles is adding to that conversation. In her book, The Quiet Rise of Introverts, Eight Practices for Living and Loving in a Noisy World, Brenda helps introverts find balance and good relationships. Brenda is also a personal counselor. She is trained in family mediation. Brenda lives with her husband and children near Minneapolis. We are so fortunate to have her voice and expertise part of our conversation today. Brenda, welcome. Welcome to Family Rules. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. We're excited to have you here, and you and I were chatting briefly uh, before the show today, and I just feel so strongly about this topic of introverts, especially as the world becomes faster paced, mm -hmm. louder, noisier. There's so much stimulation out there. <laughs> we need to understand this personality type. Oh, definitely, and I think more and more people are being affected by our very stimulating world. Yes. You know, we're feeling like we have to take that intentional pullback, you know, uh -huh. and, and be at home or just find a quieter setting to recharge. Set the table for us, if you will. Define introverted, extroverted. What does this look like to you from your okay. lens and what does this mean for the family unit? I think the pretty current definition for an introvert is someone who is has a preference for a lower stimulation, who recharges and gains energy in and environments that are quieter or more um, just serene, you know, but... It's different than shy. Right, and that's an important point. Um, shy is more in line with social anxiety. Mm. That's a fear of social disapproval or humiliation or judgment. Mm. And introversion is more, like I said, related to the level of stimulation that you're comfortable with. Okay, extroverted? Extroverted, it's kind of the opposite. It's more of a focus on the external world and interacting with others and your environment. And extroverts often feel drained if they don't have enough social stimulation or interactions with others. Is one better than the other? No, 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 no. I knew you'd say that, I asked anyway, <laughs> tell us why. Absolutely, no, they're just different. Um, um, neither is better. I would say they both need to be honored and we need both types in our world. Mm -hmm. um, there are many gifts and contributions that introverts can make, such as we are the observers of life. And a lot of times that comes through in creativity. A lot of writers, um, innovators, scientists, artists are more introverted. They like their downtime. They like that lower stimulation mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. their internal world is so busy. Mm -hmm. There's so much going on. Um, I believe introverts, and this will kind of play as our world keeps you know, ramping up, we are the ones who can help people slow down. We can mm -hmm. help them filter and learn how to really absorb the world mm -hmm. at, a, at a manageable pace. So beautiful gifts, as you've described it, well said. Beautiful gifts, benefits, and blessings to this personality type. Yet, Brenda, what would you say to a parent who's maybe concerned that my child's going to be looked over, right? In a world that celebrates yeah. Yeah. the outward-facing personality. Mm -hmm. If you're loud, if you're funny, if you're exciting, you seem to get <laughs> attention and even <laughs> opportunities. So what do you say to a parent who might be worried, my kid's gonna miss out on that? I think that's a, a valid concern, and I think you're very right. And especially in the United States, we have this extroverted ideal. You know, mm -hmm. we do like that that um, outward, ambitious, very um, assertive mm -hmm. person, animated. Um, but the key, I think, is to to really listen to your more introverted child, mm -hmm. get to know them, and when they are having trouble not fully being themselves, where you feel like they're really inhibited by their temperament, mm -hmm. I think that's a good time to maybe step in and, and kind of pull them out because you want them to become their full selves. Sure. You want them to be, you know, express themselves as fully as they can because that's our, you know, that's being human. That's what and we're here it's for. Your, you know, your goal a yes. lot of times, so. You talk about parents of introverted children, the importance of them listening, right? You yeah. also believe these parents should be very responsive to the child's needs. Talk to me a little bit about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Um, introverted children have a tendency to be more sensitive mm -hmm. and therefore that responsiveness is very, very crucial. If their child is upset, 
for the parent to tune in and really pay attention quickly and not let things you know, slide for too long is really important because that sensitive child is gonna notice things pretty quickly if there's conflict in the home, if, they're, um, if the parent is busy or really preoccupied, that child's gonna notice there, you know, there isn't a connection. That big question in all relationships, are you there for me, mm. is really key for um, introverts or someone who is pretty sensitive. And I imagine they don't just need to see it, like physically are you there for me? They need to feel it, right? right? They internalize right. at a... To, yeah, you feel it, really be facing them, tune in, not just, you know, on your laptop and talking. Right. <laughs> well, that, that doesn't work. You, right. you know, you really need the eye contact. Talk to me a bit about the consistency you're encouraging parents to practice as we try to nurture along this personality. Within families, that security and interdependence is really important. And consistency breeds that. It breeds the stability. Having dinners at the same time every night, having a set bedtime, having a time maybe at the end of the day after school or after work when everyone kind of gets together and maybe talks and downloads um, a little bit. So then that that's something that the child can rely on and that makes them feel more secure and makes them feel more strong and, you know, more even outgoing. <laughs> you describe it so well, and it seems like that beautiful balance we're striving for as a parent that becomes all the more important when this little personality mm -hmm. has its sensitivities. So thank right. you for cluing us into this and helping us be better parents through this yeah. personality. We appreciate it. My pleasure. I'm a parent raising one of these, so I particularly <laughs> appreciate it, Brenda. Yeah. Great to meet you. Thank you so much. Very nice to meet you. And thank you so much for watching our show today. If you would like more family ideas and inspiration, join us as we continue the conversation on Facebook, on Instagram. You're looking for Family Rules BYU TV. And if you've been inspired by a family personally in your own life that may have a story to share, we would love you to get in touch too. You can send an email to familyrules at byu.edu. We'll see you next time. Remember, family rules, and here are your tools. Good food can do more than fill your belly. Use good food to create traditions and memorable moments within your home. We learned that active listening is a great tool for parents and kids who have different personalities but want to be closer. And with that, try not to parent a child at your speed. Let kids lead out in how they communicate, recharge, and thrive, and you just meet them there. We come dressed normal like this, and, and we'll go, baby, 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 we'll all jump at the same time, food. and then we'll be, Okay, that's a good one. And then we'll, if you direct it, I'll do it. Okay. 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 Yeah. Catch it. Hey. Ah. Want, got it. Got it. I want so to be closer. Good. I was, yeah, I was feeling yeah, really good. Yeah, you were right there. But want to be closer. Don't cut my script now. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> cut him.